Okay, we're rolling. So first, maybe you could just tell us your name and the uh, name of your business. Um, yes, I'm Jane, Jane Hammond. And this is Boxcar Flower Farm, which is in West Oakland in front of the old train station, which you can see behind us. And I'm Lynn Becker. Um, yeah, Jane and I own Boxcar, and uh, we're really enjoying our time out here. And as you can see, it's, it's quite really? a lovely spot. It is. Well, tell, tell us the story about how you found Boxcar Flower Farms and um, also maybe the story of how you two know each other. We knew each other at the tennis club and I knew the person who managed this farm for many years. It was a non-profit and lots of homeless youth, foster youth actually did the backbreaking work of digging out the concrete and amending the soil. And at the beginning of the pandemic, uh, I had another business, we were all on unemployment because nobody was working. And I volunteered to come out and help. I think Lynn you mentioned it volunteer. and like came out and volunteered. So we were volunteering mm -hmm. and my friend finally had to leave, her mother was ill. And we both just went, let's buy it, why not? We didn't really know each other very well. No, I then. think we, were, we, we had played on it tennis team together once or twice. Um, She's better than that. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know about that anymore. But, um, but we were literally, I think, weeding. And we were like, well, who's going to take care of this place? And we just decided to buy it. And I have to say, it's been one of the best decisions. Um, yeah, it, it lovely. Through the pandemic, we were out here in the sun, learning, and learned how to grow, how to cook, how to do, run a business, and work. And everyone else was cooped up inside and in shelter at home. So we had a, a rather lovely pandemic. <laughs> it wasn't, it wasn't it was really so awful. And it's very social. People come. Behind us, you might see some other people who are just here for the fun of it because it's such a happy and peaceful place. We've met some amazing people by having this fun. Yeah. So it's, it, it's all <laughs> it's the flowers and the butterflies. We have a gigantic worm bin over there with hundreds of thousands of worms. So our worm castings make up our soil. We have a farm cat who adopted us, who yes. keeps the rodent population at <laughs> He is doing his job, yeah. surely. Yeah. We have the beehive. Oh, yes, we yes, have we're making honey. And the honey is particularly wonderful, I am told, and sells in local stores at a very <laughs> premium price. <laughs> Where can you purchase your honey? I think it's a virtual bowl. Yeah, I, but I think it's labeled under it's under somebody else, uh, but it friend does, of ours. It does label. have our label on it. Uh huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. So we'll we get you more information. <laughs> yeah, so okay, great. Your great. So we have a beekeeper who comes and does all the yeah. smoking and the yeah and beekeeping. The, yeah. We just provide, we just provide the flowers. <laughs> and so I know you're on a sixth of an acre here. And um, you've also mentioned that you're not sure how long the farm will be here. So do you have a lease or a contract? And t tell us what the sort of your situation nope. is. And the answer is no, we don't have a lease or a contract. Uh -huh. It's month to month. And we're told that the development companies who would like to put condominiums up here will eventually get building. They'll probably start in that direction and come this way. They're tied up with, I believe, permits and so on. But the good news is that the station is landmarked, so they cannot touch it. What I don't know is how far that landmarking goes. If it goes all the way out to the car over here, it's a problem for them. They, they can't mess with it. So apparently their long-term plan is to turn this area that we're into in an, into a community park. So whether or not we have a future in the condominium system is to be seen. We don't know. But I think that permits at this scale take years. The last time I spoke to them, they said two or three years and three years. So, Fingers crossed. So we just keep farming yeah. until we don't. So I know you have a flower CSA where you can have bouquets delivered to your home or business or shop. Mm -hmm. um, and you can you also tell us more about your the other services that you do. So our CSAs are big sort of uh, like we we have um, 
quite the, the loyal followers. We have some who have started with us from the very beginning. Um, I think about 50% of our CSA clients have started with us from when we first started and have stayed with us. Um, so, uh, yeah, so you, you know, uh, you can subscribe uh, to our CSA and it's two bouquets uh, either delivered or picked up either here at James House, at my house. We have a North Berkeley location. We have a Montclair location with a Piedmont location. Um, and it's basically two bouquets, uh, you know, in a mason jar um, a month. Um, usually on the first, or th first and third or second and fourth Tuesdays. Um, and we do them here, we harvest it, we take it home, put it in the cooler and let it cool overnight. And, and we, yeah, we send out our local balloons and people love it. And um, yeah, and it's been, it's been kind of the backbone of our, of our, this is our regular business. business. And um, the nice thing is that people get what's seasonal, you know, what's yeah. growing. You, know, you look around and this is what we're going to be getting this week because what's you know, they're waiting to go. We're in the height of our daily season right now. So we try and grow flowers that you wouldn't be able to just go down to a florist shop and buy. Of our Mexican yeah. sunflowers. <laughs> you don't see that uh, every day. Um, yeah. yeah, and then in our winter months, we, we actually are CSAs year round. So, like in our winter months, we get creative. We, um, we have Reese as a CSA. And as you can see, we have like grape vines in the back, and we use um, the the vines to make the wreaths, and we dry flowers, and so yeah, we make beautiful we cards. Make, we do we do cards. We're doing you know uh, dry press cards. Um, we we hate we're wasting flowers. Yes. It's kind of the thing. We're, we're we're always finding ways to preserve them. Um, I made organic confetti with our rose petals for right. my daughter's wedding, and now we have more organic rose petal confetti. We will have a jigsaw puzzle. <laughs> and we will have a jigsaw puzzle. Um, yeah, we just sort of, we go with the flow really here. Um, because of our warm casting and we feed our warm um, pumpkins, we now have pumpkins growing and Jane makes pumpkin soup for us. <laughs> you know, so we, we kind of go with the flow. Um, yeah, and it's, it's, it's just so much fun. It's our happy place. We call it our happy place. And, you know, when people come, everyone's just so happy to be here. So it's, uh, it's just flowers. And, and, well, is there anything that we haven't talked about that you think is like something you really like people to know about like yourselves or your business? Well, there's lots more to say, but I'm sure you don't need to hear about our entire life stories and how we got here and all the prior businesses and prior lives. But uh, we do have an Instagram and yep. the website. Follow us on Instagram. And anybody who's more interested, of course, can come and visit. Come and pull, up, pull out a wheel, come and pick some flowers. So, and Jane, you have a floral design business that it seems like it's a little separate from. No, I, I have is that um, an event, event and catering business, which I ran. I'm still running it, but it's changed a bit. I ran for 47 years in San Francisco. So it's oh. much more about food, wine, rentals, everything, tents and so on, and flowers. So that was just a tiny part of it. I see. So. Thank you for the clarification. Yes, and it's now still going, but mostly in a consulting and small scale. Yes, you can't tell, but Jane's kind of retired. Yeah. <laughs> you can't. Uh, can't <laughs> Great. Thank you. Thank you for coming out. Thank you for finding us and making this. Oh my gosh. We're, yeah, thank you. So excited. Excited. It's, it's been lovely connecting. Yeah. With, uh, yeah, I mean, I can't remember where I first found you. If it was Instagram or a newspaper. Like, yeah. Yeah, I know. It, it's been fun just grassroots for us. I think a lot of it is grassroots. Yeah. And that's how we're, we're just doing Absolutely. And, and, you know, the party or if you ever go out and meet anybody, you know, what do you yeah. do? And I'm a lawyer, I'm a nurse, and I'm a I'm a farmer. <laughs> 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 and everybody is just so excited to hear about this. I feel the same relate. way about our business. I know. Yeah, you know, you do flowers. something unique, right? And, yeah. Uh, Boxcar Flower Farm is the subject of one of our newest puzzles. Along with two others, it is on pre-sale right now until September 29th. If you order any of our new puzzles during the pre-sale period, 20% of all sales go to Benefit Art Push, a local nonprofit that supports Bay Area artists. So go to oaklandpuzzle.com to place your order today. 
If you want to support and promote the work that we do, please follow us online at Oakland Puzzle. Hit the like button, leave a comment below, and share this with your friends. Thanks for watching this video, and we will see you in the next one. Bye for now.